What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. He just picked up this uh, carry-on piece, and it's by Rio. It's their uh, two-piece travel collection, and you might say two-piece. Well, it just looks like one piece. First of all, I pulled it out of the box. It's basically a true unboxing. I uh, just took a look at it. I like the material on it. It's kind of this tight weave, pretty rigid nylon, and I really kind of like this color. I wasn't sure that I was. I would call it a yellow-orange um, goldenrod. It's actually very, very similar to the Veuve Clicquot uh, champagne color, so that's pretty cool. It does come in some other colors, including like the your standard red, blue, black, and green. Um, overall, this is the kind of the, the dimensions that most carry-ons have to be for most airlines. There's some things I liked about it in the description and some things I didn't, but I think overall it's going to work all right. It got me a little closer than my previous carry-on to the maximum dimensions without going over. Airlines are crazy now about the dimensions. If you're over, they will make you check them, which is kind of crazy. Now, first thing I want to show you on the bottom here is that we do have two roller skate wheels, um, you know, inline uh, skating wheels here. This one doesn't seem to spin too freely. It spins fine, but this one spins just like that. So I'm not sure what that's about, but gonna keep that in mind. Now, the thing that I didn't really like about it is it's a little bit of the old school uh, two wheel dragger. I do like the wheels on the bottom that allow you to spin and stand it up. It just kind of is more space uh, conscious for other people that are standing in line. We also have here um, this part portion that which is like the legs that hold it up and balance it is also like a second handle. So that's kind of nice. It's nice and easy to grab and you're putting it on a luggage rack and things like that or pulling it out of an overhead carry bin. It obviously has a grab handle here at the top as well. Looks like Cordura with a vinyl wrap and then let's just quick go through the pockets this front one down here um, has some paper in it and it fills up this space it's a little tethered here black inside it's kind of nice to be able to have some quick access to things uh, right here on the top we have a smaller little pocket and more paper inside and the pocket itself is this big actually all the way down here that big all the way around. This is kind of nice because this is a great place to put things that you might need quick access to, power supplies, headphones, and whatnot when you're on an airplane. I will show you that there is a little protrusion. They have a little depth to them too, which is really, really nice. Now, let me open up this first uh, compartment and you will see you have these two little kind of sheet metal keys and a little tiny lock, which is more for mental security than actual security. The hinge is on this side two zippers allow this to swing all the way open. Now, I did say this was two pieces and that's because it comes with this piece right here. Another little bag, same color, and this one is kind of a personal item carry-on. Now, this is actually much smaller than uh, the personal item dimensions that airlines allow you to use. So, I wouldn't probably use this for my personal item unless that's all the, the space you needed, but it's kind of nice to have something that will match it. And if I take a quick look at it, what we have here is a grab handle with a vinyl um, pad that opens up and is velcroed so you can carry it like a little briefcase that's pretty nice you do have a shoulder strap with a plastic shoulder pad and a metal adjuster right here so you can um, open that up you have a front pocket right here two zippers on it and again it's kind of like the bottom pocket on the front of the carry-on bag and that pocket looks like it's the whole size of the, the bag here and then the zipper up here only goes down to the shoulder strap connecting points and as you can see in here we have is a little kind of cardboard plastic flap on the bottom so it should give it a little square shape so if I push that down like that what you can see here is it kind of sh shapes that out to be pretty square that's pretty cavernous I'm I'm pretty happy with this this is certainly big enough to put like a MacBook in as well as some papers and a pet folio. You can see it just has like a little bit of a rubberized lining. It's not fully lined, a separate lining like you would expect maybe in, in a backpack or something like that. But uh, overall, that's pretty nice. And then you do have a strap on the back. And the thing I like about this um, is that it's Velcroed right here and you have it an opening here where you could strap this right to the retractable handle on the carry-on bag itself. So it's gonna be a nice mate or attaching and riding on top piggyback. Just gonna set this aside here. And as you can see here, we have a big cavernous opening on the door here. We have a big zippered mesh pocket that's full size. Uh, we have silica in here, keeping it nice and dry. We also have 
straps with little buckles on the bottom so you can buckle in things on the, on the bottom. I can feel the two bars for the handle on the back here. Now there is a zipper to open this up and that's basically because I think if you wanted to get to the wheels, which I can see down here, um, I don't know if those are serviceable. They look like they might be, but that allows you to kind of get into the back and do some things, but otherwise there would be no reason to open up this lining, but I, I do like that it's it's available like that. Okay, so pretty, pretty cavernous in about, oh, I think 21 inches overall, I think 22 with the wheels on the bottom. All right, so that is, that's the meat and potatoes portion of it. We do have a handle on the side here so you can carry it sideways like briefcase. And then push one, a single push button to release the handle and locks in place on the low position. Uh, push the button again and comes all the way out. So you do have a really nice length here, kind of the standard length, pretty nice uh, comfortable handle there as well. Uh, overall, like I said, this matches pretty closely to most of the carry-on dimensions for most airlines. And this thing was pretty inexpensive. For, so for like $40 to get this, as well as the, the personal item bag, I think a, a pretty good value between the two. So uh, if you wanna check this out and, or check it out and get in a different color, I will put the link to this in the description. The Rio US 5600, you know, 21 inch carry-on lightweight and travel tube. Peter Von Panda, out.